Hello, colleagues. Welcome back to our Friday Five in Five. We have a birthday tomorrow. This time, one year ago, was the first Five in Five, and a few people have been asking me、uh, since Catherine has left,、uh, why do you do the Five in Five?、Uh, is it part of your performance management objective? And it's simply we do it in service for you. We do it to help you, hopefully, save a few valuable seconds, valuable minutes、uh, during your very busy week,、uh, so that you can then use that time. For the things that are important for you. So, if you have time to watch the five and five, then great.、Uh, even if there's just one person that is watching it and they get something from it, then we will continue to do it just for you. So,、um, without further ado, there's something coming up.、Uh, I think the deadline is is actually today, the second of December, to sign a document from HR. So, how do you do that? People have been asking me.、Um, well, first, let's use the powerful search within. Outlook to find it. Click on the search thing up here, and I always use body、uh, colon and then search for. I think it's code of ethics. So let's go and search for code of ethics, and this will find in the body of the email the code of ethics. So I can see there I've got the word code of ethics, and it was an attachment. So now I filtered it down to just these two, and there it is. Uh, how do I sign that Word document? So I'm going to open up the Word document. I'm going to pick out、uh, pick up my pen from the A、tablet. You don't have to use a pen.、Uh, scroll down to the bottom, and when I bring the pen near to the screen, you'll see that the ribbon sort of changes up here, and I get the draw icon, and I can then sign. That's not my signature, by the way. And then I would go file, share, email, send as attachment, and bang, it will go straight as an attachment, and I can send it to that person. What about if it was a PDF? By the way, you don't need to use the pen. You can just use your finger. In that word document as well. Let's just go back very quickly. You can see draw with touch. Look, and now where's the camera? Magic finger. Do do do. Same thing.、Uh, if it's a PDF document, then let me Windows M to minimize everything. Open up a PDF document, and on PDF document you'll always have this comment thing. And when you click on comments, then you get the pen icon, and you can use your finger again and look sign, or you can use the pen again and sign. And then again, I would go file. Uh, share file. Does it actually? No, I wouldn't. I just save it to the desktop and email it. Okay,、uh, that's for a PDF document. Now, search in Outlook. I just wanted to stay in Outlook for a second because maybe, maybe I want to search for this word here: safeguarding code of conduct or this phrase. There is a built-in search within Outlook. If you right-click on the term that you want to search for and then click search, you can also translate as well. But if I search for it, what it will do? It's very clever. It will go off and it will search the internet for that particular phrase. Uh, so if you want to define a word, you've got a really clever colleague that sends uh, uh, words that you don't understand. You can right click and search for it, but it will also search within your files.、Um, and here, let's just scroll down, have a look. You see, it's, it's even opening up my OneNote that I've got that、uh, term in. You could filter that as well. Um, so like my filter isn't working at the moment on this drop-down menu here. There it is. Look, I can I just filter for things on the web or files. So very powerful search within Outlook. You don't even need to leave the Outlook environment for you to be able to search for things.、Um, next, I'm just going to look, just talk a little bit about our communication sort of philosophy. And I've noticed there's lots of、uh, CCs going on at the moment, which may not necessarily be necessary.、Uh, or if you are going to CC somebody, here's a here's a good、uh, thing for you to do. Tell them why you've cc'd in on the email. So a person that I know that does this really well is Peter Peter Tadler、um, or Tadler. And、uh, if I go for let's let's click off this search and then go back to my inbox.、Um, if I search so from colon and if I start typing Peter, then I can find him. So for example, there look straight away. It's just CC for your information, for your information only, really, and、uh, you could actually put for your information only, no action required. So let's get into the habits of、uh, helping colleagues、uh, in the community、uh, identify the reasons why that they are CC'd, so that they don't necessarily need to act on it. Just be sparing with your CC.、Um, yeah, and, that, and that's about it. Happy birthday to us. Take care. Over to Cindy. Bye bye. Hi everyone! A little DEIJ tool I wanted to introduce you today.、Uh, this is called Project Implicit, and it was designed by a team at Harvard University. And what it does is it has a range of tests that you can take to assess your unconscious bias. And as we head into the time of year where a lot of us get involved in recruitment, reading CVs, shortlisting, interviewing people, it's always a good time to check your unconscious biases and learn a little bit about yourself. It's super simple. You just go in to take a test. 
and there's some preliminary information you should read through and then you click on I wish to proceed. It takes you to a huge range of different tests um, and as you can see you can test your unconscious bias in a range of different areas. Um, it's always an interesting exercise. Remember that your unconscious biases live way down in your crocodile brain so there's no shame attached to unbiases. It's just good to know what they are because then we can challenge them. I hope you uh, take the time to take one of the tests. Thank you.